Thanks, Sean. Time for winners and losers with our financial expert, Rob Black. Hi, Rob. Good morning, Daria. And it seems like it's a good morning. So if the S&P rebounds, does that mean no more recession? No. No. No, we're going to hit a recession sometime in the next year. It's a 50-50 chance. We could avert it. In the end, it's normal. It's okay. We've been through, you and I, three or four of these now. Um, it's part of a correction becoming a bear market. And the best way to kill high gasoline prices and high rents is to lose some jobs. It stinks because I call it right-sizing. Most people call me a monster when I say that. Um, Jerome Powell's on Capitol Hill today saying basically the same thing. We're going to fight inflation until it slows the economy. Slowing the economy is code for people losing jobs. Oil's near $100 a barrel today on some Biden news you and I will talk about. Adjustable rate mortgages are surging as people can't afford a 30-year mortgage. That should help home prices stabilize, maybe come down 5%, but not much more than that. And listen to this, 100 million Americans have debt of $10,000 or more. 12% uh, of Americans have debt of $10,000 or more. 100 million Americans have big time uh, medical care debt. And that's another problem we're facing, Daria. I can't oh. find anything positive to talk about. The medical bills, they kill you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, all right, so let's get back to what Biden is doing uh, for gas. Are we going to get the gas tax cut? And is it going to come to us? So will it trickle down to us at the pump or not? I would be very surprised if it does. Um, President Barack Obama in 2008 referred to the gas tax holiday as a gimmick. Basically, the 18.4 cents a gallon or the 24.4 cents a gallon of diesel that the federal government collects, they would stop collecting. Um, or it would be up to the oil companies to do the cut. And a lot of people just think the oil companies are just going to raise rates by 18.4 cents a gallon. States would need to go along with it. Um, it's a great idea, but a credit card with $300 of, of credit on it would be better for the average American than saving 3.6% at the pump. Um, it's very politically charged in a year of midterm elections coming up. The states that are, live close to refineries and oil pipelines, they're not as stressed as gasoline as we are in California with very few refineries and uh, no pipelines in our state. So uh, the war in Ukraine, if magically we can go back in time and make Putin go away, that would be the best thing to happen to oil and gas, not necessarily a, a gas tax holiday. You always say Putin and it makes me like Putin, Putin, think poo poo. Poo poo. Okay. Okay, mom. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to help me on Chipotle? <laughs> Chipotle is that another one for you? Okay. Um, what about? Okay, you were talking about job loss, job loss, job loss. We need more job loss, but didn't we already all quit our jobs? See, is everyone still quitting? Is that what going on? And Beyonce is singing about it. Queen B, Queen Beyonce has got a number one hit. And what is, is interesting about this is I work. I'm not an economist, but I'm in that field. Um, and I, I think the job market's going to be fascinating in the years to come. I'm still out back at Cron, and I'll tell you what, I don't miss the two-hour drive. Um, Queen Bee's talking to me when she says, and I just quit my job, I'm going to find the new drive. Damn, they work me so hard, work by nine, then past five. Uh, they work my nerves, and I can't sleep at night. This is America. 47 million Americans quit their jobs last year. Four million a month are quitting their jobs this year. And it's, it's, it's putting stress on the people who are still at work because they're having to do the work of two people sometimes. So I don't think we figured out what corporate America looks like post-pandemic yet. I know some companies like Airbnb said, anyone we hire can work wherever they want. And then companies like Tesla says, uh, Elon Musk says, you can work from home if you're a genius. Otherwise, I expect you to come into work. So um, things are changing and it will be a different face in America for the next 15 years, our labor department and our, our labor usage in America. Okay, thanks a lot, Rob. And Thanks, if you want to email Rob, you can reach him directly by email or Facebook or Twitter.